verticals to just wide commercial applications. Now the next question is, once you have all of these amazing applications, how do you get them on your phone? And to answer that, I'd like to turn it back over to Steve. Thank you. So you're a developer, and you've just spent two weeks or maybe a little bit longer writing this amazing app. And what is your dream? Your dream is to get it in front of every iPhone user. And hopefully they love it and buy it, right? That's not possible today. Developers don't, most developers don't have those kinds of resources. Even the big developers would have a hard time getting their app in front of every iPhone user. Well, we're going to solve that problem for every developer, big to small. And the way we're going to do it is what we call the App Store. This is an application we've written to deliver apps to the iPhone. And we're going to put it on every single iPhone with the next release of the software. And so our developers are going to be able to reach every iPhone user through the App Store. This is the way we're going to distribute apps to the iPhone. So let's take a look inside the App Store. Uh, it's got uh, the five buttons across the bottom. So we have a featured section, which is the ones we're featuring. Just added staff favorites. We've got categories here. If you want to find a game, if you want to find a business application, you want to find an application about finance as an example, easy to find stuff and browse the different categories. Of course, we've got our top lists, our top downloads, top 50 in this case, where I can see what the most popular apps are that are being downloaded. And if I know what I want, I can easily search for something, in this case a backgammon game, and instantly find it. I can tap on it, get some screenshots, and get a write-up on it. And if I'm interested in using it, this, uh, this one happens to be free, I just tap up there, and I tap the Install button, and the app is wirelessly downloaded to the iPhone using a cell network or Wi-Fi. It's that simple to put the app right on the phone. Now, we've also built a section into iTunes where you can peruse all the apps as well. And you can download them right to your computer, a PC or a Mac, and sideload them right into your iPhone as well. But we think most people are probably going to just use their iPhone and do it over the air right to the iPhone. So this is pretty cool. But it goes even further. If you've downloaded an app and the developer has updated that app, the App Store will automatically tell you that there is an update available. And if you're interested, you just tap on the App Store, it takes you to the Update section, shows you the app that's been updated. You can see exactly what's been updated. If you like it, tap the Update button, and your app will be replaced by the updated version again over the air, all automatically. So we think this is pretty cool. And uh, the App Store is going to be the exclusive way to distribute iPhone applications directly to every iPhone user. Now, developers are going to ask, well, this is great, but what's the deal, right? <laughs> what's the business deal? We think we've got a great business deal for our developers. First of all, the developer picks the price. Pick whatever price you want to sell your app at. When we sell the app through the App Store, the developer gets 70% of the revenues right off the top. We keep 30 to pay for running the App Store. There are no credit card fees for the developer. We take care of all that. There are no hosting fees for us hosting the app. We take care of all that. There's no marketing fees. The developer gets 70% of the revenues, and it's paid monthly. This is the best deal going to distribute applications to mobile platforms. Now, we talk about the 70-30 revenue split, but the developer gets to pick the price. And you know what price a lot of developers are going to pick? Free, right? So when a developer wants to distribute their app for free, there is no charge for free apps at all. There's no charge to the user, and there's no charge to the developer. We're going to pay for everything to get those apps out there for free. The developer and us have the same exact interest, which is to get as many apps out in front of as many iPhone users as possible. Now, will there be limitations? Of course. 
There are going to be some apps that we're not going to distribute. Porn, <laughs> malicious apps, apps that invade your privacy. So there will be some apps that we're going to say no to. But again, we have exactly the same interest as the vast majority of our developers, which is to get a ton of apps out there for the iPhone. And we think we've invented an incredibly great way to do it, which is the App Store. It's going to reach every single iPhone user. So we've talked about some amazing new capabilities for enterprise customers. And we've talked about the SDK. How are we going to deliver this stuff? Well, both of these are going to be delivered together in one software update, the iPhone 2.0 software update. So let me tell you about that. It's going to, again, combine the SDK plus all the new enterprise capabilities. There's a beta release going out today. The beta release is going to be in the hands of thousands of developers and hundreds of companies. We need the feedback. We need to work with enterprises and make sure that all of their configurations for exchange work great. Of course, we want to continue working with developers and get all of their fantastic feedback. And we're going to ship this to every iPhone customer in June. And it's going to be a free software update. So that's how we're going to roll this out. In just a few months, every iPhone user is going to have what everything you saw today right on their phone as a free software update. So we're very, very excited about this. Now, there's one other part to this as well. It's not just the iPhone. It's the iPod Touch. The same software release is going to run on the iPod Touch. So developers that develop games or other applications for the iPhone, they're going to run on the iPod Touch as well. And all the enterprise features are going to be available on the iPod Touch. Now, we account for the iPod Touch a little bit different than we account for the iPhone. So there will be a nominal charge for that up update. But uh, otherwise, it will be exactly the same as the iPhone. So this is our roadmap for the iPhone software. And we think a lot of people, after understanding where we're going, are going to want to become an iPhone developer. So how do you become an iPhone developer? It's really easy. You can go to our website, probably starting in about an hour, and download the SDK for free. You can run the simulator on your Mac and develop your app right on a Mac. In addition to that, you can join our iPhone developer program if you want to run the app on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And if you join the developer program, again, you can test your code on an iPhone or an iPod Touch. We've got great technical support. And you can distribute your app to every iPhone and iPod Touch user. Right? And to join the developer program cost just $99. So this is really aggressive. If you, have, if you have any questions about anything, just give us a ping at developer.apple.com. You'll be able to go to the website within an hour and learn all about it. And we're very excited about our developer program for iPhone. So. That is our software roadmap. And uh, we hope you are as excited about it as we are. This is, we think this is incredible. 